Hello football fans, week 18 is upon us. We're finally done with Thursday night games and one week we are away from playoff football. Actually good football, at least that's what we think because we all know the wild card round weekend was really bad last year and hopefully the season will be better and it's looking like it's going to be. Lots of matchups to decide still, but let's get into it with our first matchup of the week, Pittsburgh versus Baltimore. Baltimore beating the crap out of the Dolphins last week, getting the win, getting the big win, going to rest their starters this week. Pittsburgh with the big win last week over Seattle, helping the Packers out in the process, and Pittsburgh should win this game, I would think. Mason Rudolph has been playing well. Their defense has been strong. George Pickens has, after getting the crap beat out of him about a week and a half ago for not looking uh, ready to play or just not giving full effort, he comes back with two great performances and probably going to have another one this week. Ravens are going to be, like I said, are going to be resting their starters. They're already down a couple cornerbacks anyway. So I like the Packers to win this one. Should be a decently played game, but... I just got to give it with to Pittsburgh because they've been playing Pittsburgh, they've been playing Baltimore well the past couple times, and barring a miracle, Pittsburgh wins and Baltimore still has the number one seed. Next, Houston versus Indianapolis, a great game. Both of these teams looking for playoffs, and who would have thought that at the beginning of the year that Houston and Indianapolis would both be playing for a playoff spot. And even if either of these teams loses, both still will have a chance to get in. Indy with the big win last week over the Raiders, although it got a little close towards the end. Houston with the big win last week as well. Houston is looking much better now that Stroud is back. Your defense is kind of wishy-washy week to week. You never know what you're going to get. Your running attack has been solidified by Devin Singletary. Hopefully, for Damian Pierce can come back next year when he learns the system better, but who knows. And just the Houston Texans look strong, but so does Indy. Indy's defense is also a bit of a mixed bag at times, but Gardner Minshew's been good. Who knows if we'll see Michael Pittman again. It'd be nice if he would be out there, but he still probably recovering from the hit he took a couple weeks ago. Jonathan Taylor has been looking great since he came back from injury. But I think I'll go with Houston. I think Houston just has a little bit more. And I think Trout is a, definitely a better quarterback. But it's going to be a very close match. And if Indy wins, because this place is going to be rocking, Indy does have a chance to win and move that much closer to a potential playoff spot. But I'll give the win to... Houston, but don't be shocked if it goes the other way. Next. Jacksonville over at this tenth C. Jacksonville with the big win over Carolina, shutting them out. Defense looking much better. Trevor Lawrence got hurt is hurting again. So hopefully he's able to play. Well, I mean he didn't play last week. They won with CJ B third, who uh it's not the greatest quarterback in the world, but he did what he had to do and he got them to win. Hopefully, for their sake, Trevor Lawrence is able to win because I think Tennessee is going to play them pretty well. Their defense still has their moments. They still have good players in the defense. Will Levis probably won't be playing because of his injury, so it'll probably be old Ryan Tannehill again. Derrick Henry, maybe he can go on one last ride before we see what happens to him in the offseason because there's really some big question about what happens to Derrick Henry. Is he going to be back? In blue, or is he going to go somewhere else? I mean, I think there's a pretty good chance that he ends up going somewhere else because I don't. Who knows if Tennessee will re-sign him, but they should because he still has some gas left in the tank. He hasn't gassed out fully yet, but I'll give it to Jacksonville in this one. But don't be surprised if Tennessee tries to play spoiler and knock Jacksonville out of the playoffs and what would look like a sure fire in for the Jacksonville Jaguars a couple weeks ago who would end up being a giant collapse just like the the Jacks did to the Chargers in the playoffs last year but should be a close game Jacksonville wins though next next we have Minnesota versus Detroit Minnesota getting their pants pushed in by the Green Bay Packers. The Packers just destroy them throughout the game. Detroit getting screwed royally by Dallas. I don't care what you throw at me. It's, it's fairly obvious that the Detroit got screwed in that game. It, it, it just 
appears. So, I mean, if if any indication that the referee crew was getting uh, demoted for the playoffs, is any indication that they messed up? I don't know what is. But Detroit still looked pretty good last week despite the screw job, and they're going to come out fighting. They're going to rip the pants Sorry that all the pains represents, but they're gonna beat the hell out of Minnesota this week. Minnesota do not look great. Their quarterback still no Kirk Cousins, and it's gonna be Nick Mullins or God forbid Josh Dobbs. After the first good couple of games for Josh Dobbs, who knows if he can even have any chance at reclaiming the starting spot? Probably not. So Nick Mullins is gonna go at it. And sure he's gonna throw for yards, but he's gonna throw for a lot of picks too. So Detroit's going to should win this handily. They're still playing for a playoff spot. Or they won the division, but they want that second seed, and they have a good shot to do it. You're going to go rip-roaring into the playoffs, and Minnesota is going to go home again. Well, I guess not again because they made it last year, but Minnesota sucks. Who knows what's going to happen to them in the future, but Detroit wins. Next. Atlanta versus New Orleans. And now, again, the Saints, you never know what you're going to get from them week to week. They should win, but you never know. Atlanta should win most games, but their terrible coaching allows them to not win at times. Although they won last, or no, they didn't. I mean, they got destroyed by the Bears last week. Yes, the Bears have been better, but come on. Atlanta should have put up more of a fight at that. I know... Bijan Robinson should technically be better with a different coach at the helm, but who knows? I mean, if Atlanta makes the playoffs, maybe just maybe Arthur Blaine keeps Arthur Smith around, which would be hilarious, especially because Atlanta Falcons fans suck. And <laughs> sorry, sorry, kid. Just there's some of you out there that are really bad. But the Saints should win this game, but I really should pick Atlanta because or New Orleans in these games. You never know what you're going to get. Who knows if Alvin Kamara is going to play? He, he went out last week. Um, and Ty- Taylor Heineke gave it his best last week. He's still a better quarterback over Desmond Ritter. I will go with New Orleans in this game because it's at home. I don't think the Saints will have enough to make it into the playoffs. They'll probably miss out by like one of their missed playoff scenarios, but... I still have a chance to go to the playoff. Both of these teams do. But I'm going to stick with New Orleans with the home crowd. Next. The Jets versus New England. New England, again, they could have pulled off an upset last week against the Bills. Because the Bills offense was held in check for most of the game. The Jets, um, who knows what's going to happen to them. After their beat down from the Browns last week. The Jets, I don't know what to think. I mean, it's ultimately uh, seasons of what-ifs. Although, to be honest, even if Aaron Rodgers had played the whole season, he would have gotten rocked so hard but because of that terrible offensive line. And who knows? There's so many changes that need to be made to the offensive line. Can you really make them in a single offseason? Probably not. And Aaron Rodgers only has so much time left, so who knows what's going to happen there. No... This game is such a toss-up. It really is. I think maybe I will go with the Patriots to win, but I don't know. I am really, really think this is a real toss-up game. Actually, you know what? No. Yeah, I will go with the Patriots to win this game simply because they're at home, and maybe Belichick wants to go out on a last ride because who knows what's going to happen to him in the offseason if he's going to return or if he'll end up being somewhere else next year, but... The Patriots win just because they're at home, but I don't know how confident in it I really feel. Next. Tampa Bay versus Carolina. Tampa Bay with a surprising loss last week against the Saints. Saints beat them down. Carolina got beat down by Jacksonville as well. And then we had that embarrassing moment by David Tepper. David Tepper is an embarrassment to the NFL. And that's saying a lot because there are some really bad NFL owners out there today but David Tepper is clearly the worst he clearly doesn't understand the game should not be ahead of a football franchise and should go somewhere else but he has all the FU money that he needs so he can continue to own and run a NFL franchise in the ground even more than it has in the past 
Tampa Bay should win this by all accounts. I think all Tampa Bay has to do is win and they're in. So, sorry, New Orleans. I, I'm going to pick Tampa Bay to win. But I guess it's anybody's guess what's going to happen. I mean, Carolina beat Atlanta the other week. So, who knows? Carolina could pull off the upset and knock Tampa Bay out of the playoffs. But I will go with Tampa Bay just because they clearly have a better offense. They clearly have a better defense. They clearly have just about a better everything. But just because after last week with Tampa Bay, I'm not going to throw anything out there as certain. But Tampa Bay wins, but I wouldn't be surprised if it goes the other way. Next. Cleveland and Cincinnati. Cleveland going to be resting their starters or what's left of their starters because of all the injuries they've had this year. Cincinnati missing out on the playoffs last week after starting out 17-0. and or scoring 70 points in the first quarter or in the first half, only to not score any more the rest of the game. It's really disappointing. I really had that game circled as a chance for the Chiefs to be knocked down another peg because we all know the Chiefs need to be knocked down a peg on a weekly basis because they're a very overrated franchise this year. And the NFL is going to try their darndest to make sure they get to that Super Bowl again. Well, aren't mark my words. If that happens, you'll know that it was a total royal screw job from the NFL, making sure got to give Patrick Mahomes a pet or a Tom Brady treatment. But Cleveland, probably not going to win this game. I think Cincinnati is going to play hard to win that last game since Cleveland doesn't have anything to play for. They're already in the playoffs. Probably not going to move too much in terms of the seeding. So I will go with Cincinnati to ball out one last time, especially for Jake Browning to get one last game before um, for Burrow comes back and starts next year, who knows if Brownie's going to stay around? Maybe he'll get a starting position somewhere. I mean, who knows? Maybe he could be a starter in Carolina. Probably not. That probably won't be a very good idea. But um, I'm going to go with the Cincinnati to win. But it should be a, a relatively well competitive game. These two teams seem to play each other well for the most part. What started as Cleveland versus Cincinnati. With Cleveland winning the first game, will end with Cincinnati winning their second matchup on the last week of the season. Next. Dallas versus Washington. Dallas looking to come out strong after, yes, they won last week, but even despite the great performance by C.D. Lamb, they still needed the refs to bail them out. <laughs> because it's pretty obvious that's what happened. Washington has just been a mess. There's going to be a whole lot of changes next year. Who knows what, if Howell's going to be the starting quarterback of the future because, I mean, it looked good for the first half last week, but then San Francisco just pounded them unmercilessly into the ground, so who knows what's going to happen there. Dallas should win this game on paper. They have the clear of the better team. They're still playing for maybe a potential second seed still. Or actually, they're probably in the runner seat for the second seed right now. Um, but I will go with Dallas to win. So I still think they have enough to play for. Although Washington did win the last game of the season last year. But who knows what's going to happen. Honestly, these two teams play each other tough also. But I will go with Dallas since the week is they have a better team. And you never know what Sam Howell you're going to get on a week-to-week basis. The one that does a pretty good job at completing passes and throwing touchdowns, or the other that throwing interceptions left and right. And maybe, just maybe, Dak can play well enough and get a couple MVP votes for his trouble. But go with Dallas in this one. Next. Denver versus Las Vegas. Denver out of the playoffs. Las Vegas out of the playoffs. Um, Denver... Actually, Denver's not out. They're basically out, but not full yet. Las Vegas was definitely eliminated last week, even though they could almost pull off the win in Indianapolis, but fell a little short. Denver, the Jared Sidham experiment, because they just don't want to pay Russell Wilson. Because it's clearly obvious that Russell Wilson is benched, so they didn't have to pay him, and that's all there is to it. There's nothing else you could tell me that would convince me otherwise. Down, or Denver should win this game, but Las Vegas, maybe they can play for really end Denver's very minuscule chance of making the playoffs, but 
I will go with Denver. Jared Siddham played pretty decently last week, even though they kind of struggled on offense at time against the Chargers, although the Chargers have been playing better. I will go with Denver to win this game, but again, I think this is kind of a toss-up. Because both are probably, well, Denver's probably not going to make the playoffs and Las Vegas is already out, but maybe the Raiders can really play spoiler and really end those small chances, but Denver for the win. Next. Philadelphia versus the Giants. I'm not sure what the Philadelphia has to do. I, it seems like they're pretty locked in at that fifth seed right now after blowing a win against Arizona. I mean, it's just embarrassing what happened. The Giants um, played them well two weeks ago. So maybe just maybe the Giants can really put another ding in the once shiny Eagles. I mean, the Eagles have fallen apart at the worst possible time. Their defense is not going to get any better. Their defense court is terrible. terrible. That prediction, I'm sure, will not be with the Eagles next year, I would think, because he's just awful. And the Giants, again, this is probably another ultimate year of what if, because Daniel Jones got hurt. I was like, who knows what's going to happen with Daniel Jones in the future. Yes, they pay him a lot of money, but he can't stay healthy, it seems. And even when he's on the field, he's kind of a train wreck at times. But I will go with Philadelphia to win. But if the Eagles lose, would not be surprised at all. Just because they lost to Arizona last week. And truly anything is possible. I mean, Arizona almost swept the NFC East for fuck's sake. It's the weirdest thing. Some bad teams just... Seems to happen every year. A bad team just does really good against one division. And... You don't get wins against any other other teams that they play all year. It's one of the weirdest things in the NFL that I've noticed over the past couple of years. But Philadelphia should win, but I'm, I'm not certain of anything, to be honest. Next. Seattle versus Arizona. Seattle still with the playoff position to play for. They need to win. Arizona... Played really well against Philadelphia, so maybe just maybe Arizona can really help the Packers out and not what knock one of the Chihuahuas barking or barking at their or nipping at their heel because Seattle just I don't think Seattle's very good to be honest. Or played really well in the beginning and they've fallen apart at the wrong time too as well. But it's in Arizona, so maybe that gives Arizona a little bit of a fighting chance. But Seattle should. Win this game. They're just clearly the better team on paper, but would have thought Seattle would have won last week, but they didn't. Seattle should win this game. Arizona's going to give them a fight. It's going to be a very close game, probably around the range of 30 to 27, but Arizona has a chance to win. Well, I'll go with Seattle for now, but don't be surprised again if there's some switching of the teams and Arizona wins in the end and really knocks the Seattle CX out of the playoffs but yeah Seattle wins Las Vegas or Los Angeles Rams in the San Francisco 49ers 49ers have nothing to play for they already locked up the first spot the Rams looking strong they're in the playoffs too a Ram should win this game pretty handily because I, I would think San Francisco would rest a lot of their starters. They need to rest up for the playoffs. But again, it's one of those things in the NFL. If you're the number one seed, do you rest your starters with that first week or that last week? Because if you rest your starters, then it's one week two, and two weeks. And it's like three weeks before you're actually back out, out at it again. So what was the question about? Should teams really rest their starters in week one, especially if you're the week or the number one seed, and then you have another bye week before you play your second, before you play your first playoff game? But the Rams have been playing great, although some starters will be out of the game. Honestly, I don't know who's gonna win this game. I think both teams are gonna be resting starters. To be honest, I'll go with the Rams, but I don't know. To be honest. Yeah, I'll go with the Rams to win. But I guess don't be surprised if the 49ers win because I think both teams are resting starters and yeah, both are getting ready for the playoffs. 
Next, we have Kansas City versus the Chargers. Kansas City should win, although the Chargers have been playing better lately after the firing of Brandon Saley. I think the Chargers can give them a good fight for sure. Chiefs are still not a great team, and although they came out offensively a little bit in the end last week, they had scored like six straight field goals. That's not a sign of a real healthy team. That's a sign of a team that fails when once they get to the end zone and just have a good kicker to save them. But Kansas City should win this game be, and be ready for week or the first week of the playoffs where they have a home game, assumedly. Chiefs should win, but... I guess the Chargers could win just because they have maybe just play for pride. And last but not least, we have the Buffalo Bills and the Miami Dolphins. One of the best game, probably the best game of the week. Both teams playing for the division. Now the Bills, they, they could since we lose and have two other teams, have Jacksonville and Pittsburgh win and be out of the playoffs, which is crazy to be out of the playoffs or the two seed. But I do think the Bills should win. Miami has fallen apart again. Again. At the worst time possible. And again, Tua got hurt at the end of the game last week with a shoulder injury. Bradley Chubb, three minutes left in the game, tears his ACL. There goes your pass rush. Xavier Howard got hurt early in the game, and that certainly didn't help in the passing or attack against the Ravens last week. And they just got absolutely obliterated last week. The Miami Dolphins stood no chance. I picked that game that Baltimore should, would win pretty handily, and they sure enough did. Buffalo should win this game, but Buffalo has been up and down the past couple weeks. I mean, they didn't play very well against the Chargers, kind of saved at the end. Their defense bailed them out last week. I mean, Bill's offense, what the hell happened last week? I, I don't really know. <laughs> I don't really know. It is in Miami, but I'll... But Miami should lose this game. Buffalo should be in it. And if they win, they get the number two seed. They get a home game. And they're probably, and they won't play Miami. So I guess that's a good thing. But Buffalo should win. But I guess if Miami wins, it wouldn't surprise me either. As strange as it sounds, I think the Buffalo Bills could really miss the playoffs in such a scenario. But I think Buffalo should have enough. And because Miami's just so injured. And just running down such a slippery slope. But Buffalo wins this one. Should be a close game for the most part. But Buffalo wins in the end. And there you go. There are my picks of the week. As always, my weekly Packer game preview will be coming up tomorrow night. So look forward to that. But let me know what you think of my predictions. Let me know in the comments what your predictions are. And let's go out swinging with a great last week 18 before the playoffs get going and we can see some real competition again allegedly but let me know what you think otherwise have a great day god bless and go pack go